Okay. So the Bible says in John 14, 6, he is the way, the truth, the life. The way is the road, the track, or the path. The truth, he is valid. If something is valid, you can count on it. It's the correct, the right way. And the life, the existence, the being, the creation. When God allows us to go through trials in our life, maybe that's the way to get us close to him. He's trying to save us. It's hard to wrap our mind around the fact that he knows what is best for us. But he is the author and the finisher of our salvation. Our attitude has a lot to do with our ability to be successful and to make changes in our lives. We need to love and honor him for the things he's already done. He is faithful and just. When I was praying earlier, I was thinking about who he is to me, the things he has done for me, has brought me through, has always been there for me. I know that I am nothing without God, but because he lives in me and guides me, there is hope. He is always there to refill and nourish my spirit. So thankful for the Holy Ghost to transform and renew my mind. God has been with me through all of this. Way before the time of my accident, the life I used to live, he was there and always managed to pull me through and keep me even when I didn't know I needed him. I look back and see all the times he kept me. I have never found a more perfect peace as when I submitted my will to him and let him do what he needed to do to change me and make me right. When we can get down and weep and submit all to God, it's it lets us unburden ourselves. We can be forgiven of our actions and thoughts and still feel good about ourselves, knowing that he still loves us the same. How can you not find peace and find a pure love in that instance? In a lost world like we live in today, God is the rock that we need to hold, to hold us steadfast. He gives us strength to press towards, towards the high calling, the prize of the high calling, to give him all the glory, praise, and honor. I, am no, I know I am nothing, but I know the one who can take care of anything. In 2 Samuel 22, 3, the God of my rock, in him I will trust. He is my shield. Shield, my protection, my defender, my cover, my safety. He's the horn of my salvation. The horn symbolizes strength, power, and victory. Um, he is my help, my lifeline, my deliverer, my high tower, my refuge, my savior, my champion. Scripture has the highest authority. It is God's written word in our lives over any ideas man may have. In 2 Peter 3 and 9, the Lord is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, we're not willing that any should perish, but all that all should come to repentance. Okay, I guess let us pray. Uh, Lord, thank you for always being there for us, for always going before me and taking care of anything all, especially the things that I didn't know about that were coming at me. You've always been my shield, my protector, and my strength. Uh, I, I really thank you for being my strength in times of need. And uh, I just love you for it. And I thank you for all you've done for me. And we ask all this in your great name.
Thank you, Brother Byron. That was from the heart. God bless you all. Thank you so much for joining us tonight. Be sure to join us again tomorrow night at nine o'clock for a time of prayer.